This episode of the Swiftcast is brought to you by the Mac Canadian Barbecue Company. Mac Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company where they like to say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Mac Canadian will be in Cary this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Did I get that right? I apologize. Nope. They'll be there this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday um, in Cary on Wednesday. At the um, at the corner of North and Patterson from four to seven, on Thursday at the Shrine Cafeteria and Carry from four to seven, this Friday at the Millstream Credit Union on Postoria Avenue in Finley from eleven to three, and this Sunday at the Finley Crafted Nano Brewery on Tiffin Avenue in Finley from eleven to six. If I confuse you at all, you can check out his social medias over at Facebook and Twitter to find out where he, him and his food truck are heading to next. Mad Kenny Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Harry High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium small batch roast order veteran owned coffee company. Uh, world-class hand-roasted micro-batch coffee, fresh roasted to order. It's not sitting around on shelves and in warehouses for days and weeks and months on end like some of that other grocery store coffee you might get. You order it, it's roasted, it's bagged, and it's shipped directly to you, ensuring you're getting the freshest possible coffee you could possibly get. And also know that it's not just fresh coffee, it's also morally and um, What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's fine. It's some of the <laughs> some of the most moral coffee you can get. All of the beans are USDA certified organic and fair trade certified. Uh, they are being bought um, by and from ethical farming companies in faraway places such as Colombia, Brazil, Uganda, Honduras, Peru, Ethiopia, Indonesia, and other far off places. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the different flavors of coffee in the next ad read, but. If you want to find out that stuff for yourself, you can just go to ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. YouTube, Discord, everyone listening in who's not the audio only listeners who don't get to hear this special little bit. Hi. <laughs> oh, boy. Kyle. We just we just got done finishing the uh, post mortem on the Ohio State game. Um, so if you didn't listen to our Monday episode, go back and listen to that, you guys. And we're about to uh, do our national focus episode now, and and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try and have a little bit more fun on this one, whereas the last one was a little sad. It was a little sad. Yeah. So um, let's let's jump right into it. Kyle, what do you say? Yes, sir. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Jared? I'm uh, I'm not going to complain. Like, it's still Sunday for us. Like, I know we're releasing this on a Tuesday. It's still Sunday for us, so the Ohio State thing is still a little raw, still a little raw. But uh, we're we're gonna focus on basically all of the other college football games, or I guess maybe not all, but any of the other college football games, uh, for the next thirty minutes or so. So let's let's jump yeah. straight into that, Kyle. Let's let's get back into our tier list. We started a tier list last week, and um, let's go ahead and keep doing that. Let me rearrange some stuff. And here we go. There I need to make go. a new frame that's just for it. this view. Yes, I can actually see it now, Jared. So, <laughs> <laughs> yay. Um, so I can make this a little bit bigger here. Um, so yeah, uh, this week, week two here, uh, um, uh, Team Chaos. Claims had, had, had that's yeah definitely definitely played a part in this week, but it could have been a lot more. Team Chaos could have taken a lot more teams this week. There are some real close calls for a lot of teams for sure. 
Um, it unfortunately claims Ohio State as as Team Chaos is want to do. Although this is Ohio State's first regular season loss in two years. Is that right? This is Ryan Day's first regular season loss, is it not? It is Ryan Day's first regular season loss. Yes. So I think I think we'll just start with Ohio State. You got to drop them down to the A tier. Right oh, now. for sure. They no longer drop- belong in S tier. Um, Kyle, do do we move anyone up into S tier to replace them? I, I think I think with their I think I think with their performance right now, man, I, I'm I'm on the fence with Oregon. I'm not just because I'm uh, being a salty Ohio State fan <laughs> or anything like that, but like what we saw in their first week and then what they came out and proved uh, against Ohio State in that week too, man, I'm on that fence of putting Oregon on that S A tier. It just I'm on that fence there. To me. They have one of the best wins of the season. And then you add a USC loss into the mix. They're in the complete driver's seat for their conference. They're in a driver's seat for a playoff spot. To me, I think that's what S tier should be. So, yeah, I, I kind of yep. want to put them in the S tier. All right. All right. Go ahead, then. All right. Putting Oregon in the S tier. Currently in the S tier, Kyle, along with Oregon, is Alabama and Georgia. I have I've no no need to move either of them out. Um, nope. Kyle, is there anyone else you think belongs in S tier? In all of college football? No, oh, S S no, no, absolutely not. No. I I agree. All right. Currently in our A tier is Clemson. I think that's standing firm. Oklahoma, you know. I still think that stands firm. I know they trounced the, I think, FCS school that they played this weekend, um, which good on them, but it was an FCS school. Cincinnati, I still think belongs in A tier. Notre Dame? Does Notre Notre Dame belong in A tier still after? So, like, they beat Florida State. Florida State turned around and lost to an FCS school. Notre Dame barely beats Toledo. I, I, I don't think they still belong in the, in the eighth year. I think we have to bump down Notre Dame to at least B. I, I, yeah, I wonder if B is generous, if I'm being honest with you. But go ahead and put them to B, but in replace of Notre Dame, put Iowa up there. Put I, Iowa up I, in the eighth year. I agree. We're going to Iowa, Iowa had a great game against Iowa State. 27 to 17 and man i was joking with a few people in our discord about Ohio state putting up over 600 yards of offense and only putting up 28 points and then here's iowa with less than 200 yards and putting up 27 uh points which is peak iowa college football college football well, for you that, that, that's I, just I that's straight I, up iowa that's just that's that's iowa's bread and butter and corn right there yeah. Uh, uh, Iowa's defense there really shows that that they might be the team now to beat in the um, in the West Division now. I certainly feels that way at the moment. Um, yep. Let's see the currently in a uh, in B tier is Minnesota, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, Penn State, Notre Dame, Iowa State. Um, Texas A&M, UCLA, and Florida. Any of those teams belong in A tier in your mind? Um, Chat? Uh, Brawley says UCLA. Uh, Did UCLA play? Not yet. Not yet. UCLA is climbing up there. They're climbing up in the B tier, but not in A yet in my mind. Did they? But they didn't. They didn't play this last week, did they? They did not. Yeah. So no. slow down. They haven't done anything to <laughs> to move up yet. No, Texas, a- Texas A&M. They just stay where they're at. Uh, Team Chaos almost took them out. Yeah. Uh, Texas yeah. A&M was a very high B tier for us last week. And I think after a real struggle win against Colorado, I think it just proves that they belong in B tier more than be that they need to drop down. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Penn State stays where they're at. They took care of they could took care of business against Ball State. Um, let's see. I think you'd still keep Iowa State their B tier. I think they're still a contend, contender for the Big 12 um, conference. I think they stayed there at the B. Um, North Carolina did nothing yeah. to improve or hurt their stock. Um, yep. Virginia Tech did nothing to hurt or improve their stock. Minnesota yeah. struggled. I'm not willing to drop them because of it, but they struggled. Um, so they're they're on loose footing at the B tier now. Yep. And I think I think Florida belongs B tier as well. Yep. Yep. I agree. I, I think I think that's I think that's good right now. Now the C tier, here here's here's where we're gonna mix up a lot of things now. All, All right. right. All right. Wisconsin, keep them there. LSU, uh did they not play? I don't think they played. Um, I don't think so either. No, I don't think so. I don't remember if they played or not. If they I'm did, looking it up. You keep talking. Okay. Um, they did not. Oh yes, skip, they, did. yes skip, they did. They they played the McNee Cowboys, so well, they sort of played. Yeah. USC. I think USC. You got to drop them down. Yeah, I USC. Think you drop them down after their loss to Stanford. There. Yeah, they they drop yeah. down to C. Yep, I think. I think uh, the team up north, you, the team up north, you keep them at C. Uh, defense is looking good. Offense is still not where, Mich- where Michigan should be. So no stay at the C tier. By the way, Texas. I introduced I introduced Florida State into our chart for the first time and put them at F. Okay. Okay. And I also uh, want to uh, I, I want to go ahead and move Washington down to F while we're at it as well. Yes. Uh, I, w- I would have been fine if you moved Florida State down to M as well, but uh, we we save M for special occasions. Okay, all right. Texas does Texas go down to M? <laughs> Texas is back back to being mediocre. So I put them down to D. Put them down to D. Um, D might even be generous if we're being honest, but yeah, we'll move them down to D. Put them down to D. Uh, let's see, Indiana. Indiana took care of business against Idaho. They didn't it's Idaho, sway so. me either way. They can stay, they can stay where they're at. Uh, Arizona State, who I believe they're now ranked, which rankings don't matter right now, but I think they stay where they're at. Uh, Sparty still continuing to um, impress me, being that they still uh, took care of business against Youngstown State. But they're taking care of business. I think they yeah. are solidify yeah. themselves in the C tier there. I agree. Uh, I think that's exactly what they did was solidify a Maryland. C-tier. Maryland, same thing. Shut out Howard, did exactly what they needed to. Rutgers um beat Syracuse uh 17 to 7. Sir Rutgers really, I think, still belong in that C tier. Not going to touch anyone in that B tier, but Stay in that C tier list there. I agree. Miami. Miami now. I They got to keep dropping, right? They got to keep dropping. They got to keep dropping. I think I think you move them down to the D tier as well. I think you move them down to D tier. Uh, NC State, I'm almost tempted to put down the D tier. They looked bad last weekend, this last weekend. You're, you're, I think you're they're a high resident. I think they're a high D. I think they're a high D tier. But D tier nonetheless. Okay. Utah lost. Utah lost. And yeah, I, I think you put them down to D as well. All right. But I think I think we we cleared out a lot of the C's there. I uh, this is the I feel like we started top heavy, but it's gonna keep rolling downhill. Um any thoughts on Purdue? Or we just you can just say Keep them, stand pat, whatever phrase you want to use. Um, yeah, they took care of business. They can stay. They can stay where they're at. Auburn, I don't. Where? What is all this love for Auburn going to? Uh, because they beat Alabama State, and they did so convincingly. And congratulations! But we could move. Uh, what? What did they? Keep I, them where they're at. Keep them. Keep them where that they played. <laughs> 
<laughs> who did they, they played? Who they was their played first Akron. And, oh, Akron. They played Akron and then Alabama State. Okay, yeah. I mean, I realistically, if we're gonna move Auburn, I think my idea for moving Auburn is to move them off of the chart because who knows? I'm not moving them yeah. up. I'm not moving them down. We'll Maybe out, they we'll don't belong this, we'll in out this weekend. We'll find out this weekend when Auburn plays Penn State. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Just, just find just out. keep them where they're at there then. All right. Uh, other, ones we kept, other ones we kept there. So down in the E tier, West Virginia and Northwestern. Um, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Sure. Uh, Illinois F, Nebraska F, Oregon State, Mississippi State. Um, any feelings anywhere with those guys, well, Kyle? I think Mississippi. I think Mississippi State's the one that beat um, NC yeah, State. I believe, yeah, Mississippi State's the one that beat um, NC State. So maybe we can move them up to E. Yeah. Uh, okay. Time e. out. If we move Mississippi State up to E, and only E, then we have to move NC State down to E. At the very least, they did just beat NC State. Okay. All right. I'm fine then. All right. We just bumped down NC State to E. Um, Arkansas, we should probably put Arkansas on the list somewhere. They did just beat Texas. I, I say that they belong in C. Or D. C or D. Yeah, I put them at D. I put them at D right now. I'm still I'm still not a of um they are ranked they beat they texas now? how are they now they yeah all right i say all right, C. All right, just keep them at just keep them at uh, i don't agree with c but whatever i'm putting him in c <laughs> all right um <laughs> let, me th- let me think anybody else anybody else that you can think of that uh, impressed you to move or down on this list here jared well i think we're passed up and down i think um I think as far as the teams we currently have on the chart, I think they are in their appropriate places. Um, should we put Pitt up on the list? They just beat Tennessee. I actually think we should probably go ahead and throw Tennessee on the list. I'm going to put them at an E, which even might be generous. Whoa, whoa. why on why on E? I, I mean, I, I feel like F is maybe a stretch at this point, but they definitely don't deserve better. I don't think that they're an F team, but they're also not a D team. That's why E. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really anybody else that's worth really talking about right now. But I well, no, hold on, hold on. Let's do an ad read. We'll come back. We'll take a look at this list. I think BYU had a big win, um, and. Uh, Stanford had a big win. Pitt had a big, big ish win. Uh, Syracuse just lost a pretty notable game. I think we have some teams we need to introduce to the chart. So let's do some ad reads. We'll look at the chart while we do that. And we'll come back and we'll. We'll we'll introduce some more teams to the chart. Am I going first or are you going first on the ad read? All right. Why, why don't we, why don't you um, lead us up here, Jared? All right. Let me find my notes. All right. Iron Bean Coffee Company talked about why you should buy from the Iron Bean Coffee Company in the previous read. Um, Let's talk about some of their coffees. Kyle, let's talk about um, some of their flavored coffees. They have over at Iron Bean Coffee Company uh, some flavored coffees, uh, one of which is a mom's carrot cake. And you you can probably figure out for yourself what's what's in in the what that is meant to represent. Right. Uh, there's the intense blueberry, which again, pretty obvious. It's going to be a blueberry flavored coffee. Um, then we have the grog. I feel like a lot of craft, uh, I almost said craft beer, craft coffee companies have a grog. If you don't know, it's uh, butterscotch and rum with some vanilla in there. Um, it's a very popular coffee flavor. Uh, this one's called Dylan's Grog, named after the owner of the company. And uh, it's a premium version of a grog, let me tell you. Uh, there is the mint chocolate chip. So if you like your coffee minty and chocolatey, there you go. And then there's the unicorn. Uh, unicorn, you don't know what's in the unicorn. That's that's the fun part. That's their R&D mystery bag. That might be the next great Iron Bean Coffee Company flavor coming straight to you. Or not, but it'll be a fun adventure either way. 
Um, and then they have the backroom coffees. This is their murder brand of coffees. They also have some flavored coffees back here, uh, including a vanilla buttercream coffee, a red velvet coffee, a blueberry cinnamon crumble coffee, and a ginger snap coffee. So you can find all of those and more over at ironbeancoffee.com. If you don't like flavored coffees, they have tons of non-flavored coffees. I talked about some of those in the last ad read. But like I said, you can find all of these coffees and many more coffees over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by our good friends over at the Mac and Eating Barbecue Company. If you didn't understand what I said at the top of the show, because I screwed that up i'll go ahead and say it again here <laughs> where the mad canadian it's going to be at this week so as this is being recorded on two or being released on tuesday they will be in carry this wednesday at the corner of north and patterson from four to seven o'clock this thursday at the shrine the shrine cafeteria from four to seven o'clock and this friday at the millstream credit union on Fastoria avenue in finley ohio from 11 to 3 o'clock. Or you can spend your Sunday um, lunch or dinner over at the Finley Crafted Nano Brewery on Tiffin Avenue in Finley between 11 and 6, again, this Sunday, to get some of that sweet, sweet, or spicy barbecue that the Mad Canadian has over at his food truck. Be sure to follow him on his social media for any updates or news that the Mad Canadian may have to offer. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. All right, Kyle. First and foremost, uh, Coastal Carolina is up to number 16 in the latest poll. Um, I didn't even have them on the on the chart. So anyone watching the YouTube video while you were doing that ad read saw me because I, I did because I'm a sick individual I already have a Coastal Carolina logo on my computer. Um, <laughs> uh, went ahead and ported that into our graphic. Adam the C. All right. Coastal Carolina Adam added to the C tier after beating Kansas. Yep. Who did they beat? Who who they beat the first week? I'm looking. I, I'm just talking out loud. I'm actually the one doing the look it up. Jared, look it up right now. Uh, they beat the Citadel and then Kansas. Okay. Um okay, it's a it's a real loose C. It's a real loose C at this point. We'll, we'll we'll find out though. I mean, if you're given Arkansas, C. You see, kind of just feels like the entry point into the charts. If we're being honest. All right, all right. Uh, Stanford. You, you mentioned there was a couple. You mentioned there was a couple of other teams that you wanted to mention in here. Maybe Stanford. Maybe you could put Stanford up at D since they did beat um, USC. Maybe E. At, well. So I don't really USC, think too highly of. I think you're. I think you got it right the first time. USC is currently at D. I think we can also put Stanford at D. Okay. Um, Colorado had a really nice game. They ultimately lost, but they had a, a really nice game this week. Um, I think we could throw them in at maybe D tier, maybe a C tier for Colorado. What do you think? Colorado. I mean, I, I, I'd probably put them like an E tier. I mean, they, they haven't really beaten anybody. Yeah, they almost beat Texas a and but it's still not a win here. So I put them at E. Maybe they can move up, but I put them at E for right now. I think that's a little bit rough, but I think the last time we disagreed, I got my way. So we'll let you have your way this time. <laughs> uh, BYU beat Utah. Uh, we currently have Utah at D. So I, by that, we BYU should yeah. at least be D, maybe C. Yeah, I, I guess put them at D for right now. Put them on, put them right there with uh, with Utah there. Okay. Um, Pitt beat Tennessee. We currently have Tennessee at an E. I think we can put Pitt as a D or a C, but probably a D as well. Thoughts? Any? Sure. <laughs> sure. Participate. <laughs> D is fine with me. D is fine with me with Pitt. Uh, 
D is fine with Pitt. Kyle doesn't like to get into because the because honestly, that like the 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 rest of these teams is just I don't know, just n- none of these other teams that I can think of that really I feel that can um, whether they're above E, I, I I really don't see at this point. All right, um, that's fine. So if you want to. So you're saying this is it? Are, are you saying uh, you don't want to you don't want to place any more teams on here? Uh, we could maybe throw Kansas on here just just to throw them an F because it's Kansas and why not? Mm-hmm. I, I guess I guess the only other team is maybe Ole Miss. Maybe you could put Ole Miss up to C since they're they're ranked seventeenth right now. That sounds fair to me. We did look at Coastal just Carolina. Looking at the other teams that are. are other teams that are ranked on here, which I think I think we've got all the other teams here. So if they're ranked, they should be on the chart. I think that's I think that's a fair assessment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I think that's everybody. That's everybody here. OK, I'm not going to fact check you on that because I don't want to. How about that? All right. All right. All right. Um, so so here, here's our here's our rankings here after um, week two. Let us know if you have any comments or think that the team should be higher or lower. Um, other than that, Jared, what do you, any other comments or any, anything interesting that you've seen from the national games here? Um, it's, I, it, you know, I was, I was deep in my fields after Ohio state lost to Oregon. Uh, I didn't watch a lot of the mid afternoon games, um, because I was deep in my fields. Um, I, Michigan looks decent enough right now. Uh, it should be heavily noted that Washington's terrible. Um, so I, I think that that needs to be said out loud. Ultimately, though, this was a real boring week of college football. Um, we had some real close calls, as Kyle was saying. Um, some upsets that could have happened, Texas A&M and Colorado. Um, a lot of other real close could have been upsets, Notre Dame and Toledo. Uh, but there weren't any outside of Florida state losing to Jacksonville state, which I don't think is a thing we actually said out loud yet. Um, and then Texas losing to Arkansas. I don't know if we had any true, like huge upsets. Um, technically Oregon beating Ohio state was an upset, but Oregon's a very good team. Technically Iowa beating Iowa state was an upset, but Iowa's a very good team. Um, I think there was, uh, yeah, Utah and BYU again, technically an upset, but, Still two very good teams. So uh, I I don't think there was anything except maybe, like I said, Arkansas losing to Texas um, or excuse me, the other way around Texas losing to Arkansas, Florida State losing to Jacksonville State. I don't think there was any like earth shattering, devastating, like real true team chaos games this weekend. Um, No. Again, because I do have a. I do have one uh, ask Slipcast question here, Jared, because I, th- I think this is a very important question to ask in terms of the future of the playoffs and who's going to be in the playoffs. Um, Nomad asks, what are Cincinnati's chances of making the, the CFP? Here they are. They are currently, oh, what are they now? Again, this is the AP, doesn't really matter, but AP has them at eight just ahead of Ohio state right now. They, they took care of business against Miami of Ohio and then played on, um, was it Murray state? I played Murray state this weekend. This is where, this is where we're going to find out about, uh, about Cincinnati. Thought Indiana was going to be better. I think Cincinnati might, might be able to win that game, but then it's going to be that fourth week here. When they take on, actually, no, they they have the fifth week off, so it's technically the first weekend in Nord, first weekend in October, where they get to head on over to Notre Dame. Yeah, that's where we're going to really find out about the Cincinnati team. Yes. and if they take care of business against Indiana, they beat in beat Notre Dame, and then went out. I don't know. That's that, that's that's definitely a discussion there. That's definitely a discussion. Yeah, and it's it's kind of like when we are asked is Ohio state out of the playoffs, it's, it's too early to do 
like playoff scenarios yet. Um, it certainly looks like Oregon is in position. Like you look at Oregon and Alabama, these are two teams who look like they're fast tracking themselves to the playoffs, but it's a long season. Uh, Oregon's not used to being a front runner. Alabama obviously is. I have all the confidence in the world that Alabama will be in the playoffs. Um, Oregon, again, it's a long season and they, they just got to keep chopping. They're talented. They can do it, but they got to keep going. You know, Oklahoma hasn't lost yet, although they certainly look like they have their weaknesses. Clemson's lost. I love, you know, I, I want Iowa to be good as much as anyone else wants Iowa to be good, but they're not used to playing on the national stage. Maybe they take that next step this year, but I, I just, I don't see it. Ohio State has lots of issues right now. Um, it all sort of just depends upon, can the Pac-12 actually stay in it? Because what we've not had recently is five teams from five conferences that all deserve to be in the playoff. We've just not had that. A four-team playoff, five major conferences. The math there is scary, especially if you're Cincinnati and you're not in one of those major conferences. Yep. So it just depends. Can Oregon stick around? Can Oklahoma stick around? Can Clemson stick around? Someone from the SEC will get in between Alabama and Georgia. One of them will be around. Um, can Ohio State stick around? You know, it's that's the, the biggest hurdle ahead of Cincinnati right now is not Notre Dame, because I don't think Notre Dame is very good. The biggest hurdle for Cincinnati right now is having enough chaos happen in front of them because a one loss Ohio State team who is the Big Ten champion is going to get in ahead of an undefeated AAC Cincinnati champion. And we can talk about how that's not fair. And I'm quite. We can talk about if that's fair, or if that's not fair or why you think that's bottom line is, I think that's what happens. Yep. And I, I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I think. What what does it take to get Cincinnati into the playoffs? A bunch of conference champions with two losses. That's that's what it'll take. Conference champions mm -hmm. with two losses. Yep. All right, Kyle, anything else? No, I think that's it on the national scope here. Um, I haven't actually looked at week three here to see what kind of games that we're anticipating here, but it's it's got to be better than week two. Don't always bet as a whole. Uh, let's see. Week three, top 25. Um, so mentioned Cincinnati, Indiana. I think that would be a good, could potentially be a good game there. Uh, don't Michigan sleep on State, this. Miami. Because, yep. Michigan State, Miami. Don't want to sleep on that. Uh, Kyle, Alabama and Florida. What's that? Did Sparty win that game? That's not a game. Well, well, if you'd asked us well, preseason well, that Sparty even had a chance in. Now, well, well, does Sparty win that game? We'll, fight. we'll talk about that on Friday. We'll talk about uh, that Alabama, on Friday. Alabama and Florida. Uh, Purdue, Notre Dame. Like, I mean, I I don't think yep, Purdue's Purdue, any good Notre this Dame, year, but I also uh, just don't think Notre Dame's any good either. Auburn, Auburn and Penn State. Yeah. Um, don't sleep, don't sleep on don't sleep on this. Tulane and Ole Miss. Don't don't sleep on that. Yeah, game. I think I think Ole Miss is totally overrated right now. I think Tulane is obviously a dangerous football team. I mm -hmm. I would keep then, an eye on and that. I think the I think the last one here, Arizona State and BYU. So yeah, yeah. More, I think I think we'll get an overall better better slate of games than we did week two <laughs> yeah that goes without saying that goes absolutely without saying do you realize how fast i would have put michigan state and miami in last week's sloop picks in a heartbeat yeah. i put pittsburgh and tennessee i put pittsburgh and tennessee in last week's sloop picks the house state taking on tulsa and early on here jared tulsa 
toss it. Whew. Buckeyes open up as a 31 point favorite. Really? Where? Oh, I just, I'm looking at Yahoo and Yahoo has it at 26 and a half. It's a pretty big difference. That, between that is the sources. Big, but we'll, we'll cover that on Thursday's episode. Yeah, it'll move. It'll move. All right. Uh, make sure that's the end of the today's show. Everyone, make sure to check out the sloopcast.com um, where you can find links to all of our stuff. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner for this week or with today or whatever, however the hell we're doing this nowadays? No, I I really don't. Um, disappointing with the with the crew still. They another loss to Orlando. Should have won game. They should have need to win. It's just not looking good for the crew right now. They they need to get. They need to find an identity on offense. Sounds familiar. Um. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's it for today's show. Um, tonight's ending music is brought to you by a band, which I think is actually just a guy out of Cincinnati. He goes by Lincoln. Um, if you need links for Lincoln, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that, but it was right there. I had to, uh, you can find them down in today's show notes, a uh, link to his band camp, a link to, um, the song on YouTube. So like I said, just check out the links down below. So if you, uh, with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Lincoln.